Welcome back, third graders. Um, here we are, ready to draw on our self-portrait. So this is the this is one of the papers I chose. I made a lot of these different um, backgrounds, my collages and my colors, my painting, simply because I have lots of different feelings. So this is the one I chose for today. I feel real calm, and I'm going to go for a hike today. So I love that this felt, and I'm going to be by the water. It felt very like earthy to me, and I love that. Um, you can have your paper be like this or like this. Uh, your paper could be square, it could be a rectangle, so it's up for you to decide. Just for uh, viewing, I'm going to have it like this today to make it easier. I'm having a pencil, an eraser, and a marker. I'm using a Sharpie today, but you can use a regular marker, or if you want to leave it a pencil, that's also okay. It's up for you to decide. Thinking back to the slideshow that I had earlier, what I'm going to do is choose the, the size of my head, and I'm going to go larger on here so you can see it, and I'm also going to draw a lot darker than usually you should. Um, so be aware that as I'm pressing, I'm pressing hard on purpose so the camera can show the image clearly. So here I go. First thing I'm going to do is draw out my face. And your face is shaped like an egg, generally speaking. These are all general human proportions, and thank goodness we all look different from each other. Yay for that. Um, and so I'm just using some general guidelines. You see yourself every day, so actually you're going to draw yourself a little bit more like you, and I'm going to draw myself a little bit more like me. That's a little artist hint, which is kind of cool. Um, and so don't, don't worry about making it look exactly like I do. So now I divide my face in half. Remember, this is a really dark line that I'm drawing. Draw yours lighter. I'm going to put my fingers together and find the middle. Put my fingers together, find the middle. And I know this is shocking. This is going to be your eye line. Put your fingers together and draw the middle. This will be your nose line. Put your fingers together and draw the middle. Or find the middle, excuse me. And this will be your mouth line. And I know that that looks wild because in, in third grade this is a... This is a big introduction, a big idea. Yes, usually your hair sits over here and your face is down here in this section. Now, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna divide my face again. This is my center, this is my center. Now I'm gonna divide this space, this space, this space, this space, all of those little spaces here in half. This space first in half with a big line, this space with a big line, this space with a big line, this space with a big line, and I'm moving quickly because I want the video to go fast. Pause as you need to, please. Now I'm going to come down here. This is the center of my eyes, my two big lines. Boom. I'm going to draw this and this, and I'm going to go to these two lines, my center lines, and come down here. Oops, excuse me, here and here. Time to draw in our parts. I'm going to start over here with the two larger lines. This is my little line, my two larger lines. I'm going to draw in a football shape, so it's like a happy face, upside down happy face. And here's another line. That's a happy face line. So these are going to look like football eyes. Now I'll draw in a large circle. Please keep it a circle, not an oval. Thank you. And then I can erase the insides and draw another circle. And I have eyes which look kind of creepy because there's nothing on the inside of them right now. Trust me, don't fill it in yet with a pencil. Come down to this space. Your curvy line for your nose is going to be in this space. I like to make a, my nose is kind of pointed, so I kind of make a pointy line, and then I make a soft C and a soft C, and that's my nose. On the lip line, we're going to come up a little bit, not, this is almost the middle of the mouth, but the, the middle of the mouth is going to be up above that line. I'm going to make a smiley face because I want my face to be smiley on mine. I'll come up and down and up and down. Maybe I'll put in some cheeks. And our ears come from our uh, above this line and above this line. So a nice line here. Hook it in, hook it in. A line here. Hook it in and hook it in. And I've got my ears. Now, to outline this so you can clearly see it, I'm going to use my Sharpie before I do any erasing. My eye, which is that football shape, my circle, and my pupil. Ooh, and it looks creepy as we start working through it, trust me. <laughs> I've made hundreds of portraits, and every time the journey is like, uh-oh, and then the end is good. 
here's my little point for my nose. It goes in between these two lines, my soft C, my soft C. This is this lip line or this uh, curve for my happy face is just going to hit the bottom of that line and up. I'm going to make that go up a little bit here and I can put in my... Um, I am going to also go around from here, not the top part of my head, but I'm going to do the bottom part of my face, kind of like we did in second grade. And then I can put in my ear and my ear. There we go. Eyelashes. Um, when I when you make eyelashes, um, your eyelashes grow out bigger, smaller at different times. They fall out, more grow in, so you can make them um, bigger and smaller on there. And the big thing is once we get on the hair. So I'm going to go from here to here, and I'll throw down some eyebrows. Some more skinny kind of texturized eyebrows. And now Mrs. Samala's hair today looks like this. So I'm going to cover its it kind of swoops across my head. I don't really have, lo I have longer bangs that kind of go like this. So I'm gonna go across my face and then I need to fill in this section with hair. So I'm gonna go over, come off the top of the head. So I'm gonna come up here like this and make some sketchy lines and then come down and come down. From here, I can add in more hair lines And then our neckline actually goes from this mouth line that we draw. That's a really important line. Not only does our mouth go there, but our neck comes out from this line. And then I always like to put on the idea of a shirt and shoulders going straight out like this. And quite honestly, what I would do is I would probably add in a little bit more hair if I wanted to, give, give some more texture. And the last thing I would do is just erase the rest of the lines that I have on here. And I use temper paint so the it erases really easy easily. Watercolor usually works really well as as well to erase over. Um, I did press hard but my pencil is coming off quite easily. And voila, there's a self-portrait. I hope you enjoyed this friends. Good luck and happy drawing and this is how you draw a human face in basic proportion. If you're looking to learn how to draw realistic faces, if you start with this and start developing your own style, you've got it. And usually my third graders do a really good job after I show them this technique at this time of year. So thanks for watching friends. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.